Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome. Come sit on the porch with me for a little while. It is a beautiful day out here today. Neighbors are working on some projects and cutting grass, and roosters are crowing, birds are chirping, kids are out here playing. There's a lot going on. Uh, but I'm inviting you to come and be a part of all that with me. If you're new to these back porch chats, my hope is that you feel like a friend who has just stopped by and I said, hey, come sit on the porch with me and let's talk for a little while. Uh, very unedited, just like you're sitting here with me. I'm Tiffany, by the way, and I'm so happy to have you here. Y'all, I've got a confession. <laughs> and I actually filmed a video on this topic a uh, few months ago, uploaded it, had it ready to post as a Friday back porch chat, and then just felt unsettled on it, like God was saying, wait, not yet. And so I never shared it. And then I felt like he has said, okay, now it's time to talk about it. So I'm going to sit here and share my heart with you, share my story with you, and let God take it and do with it as he sees fit. So, like I said, I have a confession. What is it? I've been on YouTube for four years. And for a long time, I never really shared with anyone in my real life. And I hesitate to say real life because y'all are real people on the other side of this camera. But I think you know what I mean. For a long time, I never really shared with anyone in my real day-to-day -day life that this is what I do. And there were a few reasons. I didn't want to feel like I was pestering somebody. Hey, come watch my videos. I also was putting up a wall and guarding and protecting myself because I thought if a stranger has something negative to say, that's one thing. But if it's somebody I know, then that's different. Uh, I also was hesitant because I feel so passionate about what I do here. This is where I'm called. This is part of the purpose of my life. And I didn't want anybody to make fun of that as a content creator, as an influencer. I didn't want anybody to make light of or poke fun at what I do because it is so important to me. And again, it was one of those things where if it's a stranger, that's one thing. If it's somebody I know, it feels different. That's what I thought. And so it wasn't necessarily that I was hiding it, but I just, I didn't really talk about it much. And so what changed? What made me start sharing about it more with the people in my real day-to-day -day life? There came a point where I remember thinking, if someone came up to me and they said, I feel called and led to share about Jesus with someone, but I'm afraid, you know, it's going to make me step out of my comfort zone. I've got to sit next to these people at ball games, run into them at the grocery store. I'm afraid of, you know, if I, if I share Jesus with them, what are they going to think? Uh... I, it's going to make me have to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. What? So what would I say to that person? Well, I'd say share anyway. <laughs> share anyway. Step out of your comfort zone. If you're feeling called to it, do it and you will be blessed by it. So I felt like that was a little bit of a message for myself. And I know sharing Jesus with someone and having a YouTube channel, it's a little bit different, but in the same, at the same time, a lot the same because I share Jesus here I want everything that I do even in my regular old day-to-day -day life to shine a light for Jesus and so I feel like that was a message for me like Tiffany it's time to step out of your comfort zone make yourself a little uncomfortable I also started thinking about how all too often we rob ourselves and let the devil rob us of good things and of blessings because we're so worried about what might go wrong or something negative that might happen. And I kind of felt like that's what I was doing. And so I thought, you know what? There's no reason for me not to be more open about what I do, make myself a little vulnerable. And y'all, I've been blessed by it. Not one person has had something negative to say to me. And even if they did, um, that that is life. <laughs> Not everyone's going to agree with you, think the same as you. People are going to have negative things to say. Sometimes we just have to learn how to work through that as part of life. And God has helped me learn that <laughs> with YouTube. Um, but where I kind of, the reason why I wanted to share this with you and a little bit of my story about stepping out of my comfort zone 
is maybe God is calling you to something and it's going to require you to step out of your comfort zone. I don't know what it is. It could be so many different things. Uh, maybe it's sharing Jesus with someone. Maybe it's a change you need to make. Whatever it is, that first step may be difficult, but it'll be worth it. If God's calling you to it and you're obedient, He's going to bless you. Uh, I felt God saying, Tiffany, it's time to make yourself a little uncomfortable. Step out of that comfort zone and invite these people in to what you've got going on. Let them see what you're doing. Let them hear what you have to say on this level here, here on YouTube, the way I'm sharing here. And, you know, the more I thought about it, it was like, why, why, why not? <laughs> I love these people. Uh, th these are people that know me and I know them. I want them to be a part of this. Uh, and I was robbing myself and them of the opportunity to be here and be a part of this community. You all have made this such a special place to be. And it, it has been a blessing to open up and invite some of those people from my real life into this. If you know me in real life, thank you so much for being so supportive and kind of er helping erase some of those fears that I had of what people might say or what they might think or how they might react. Uh, and support you've supported me so thank you for that and those of you that I've never met face to face I hope I do get to meet some of you face to face I would I would love that uh, but I'm constantly blown away at how you you've never met me or my family face to face but you still come and you care about what we have going on and you support us and that is just it's amazing the connections that we have made here it's amazing and I'm so thankful for it. I just, like I said, I wanted to encourage you a little bit today in stepping out of your comfort zone and yeah, just allowing yourself to not be robbed of something good because you're worried about something negative that might happen or what somebody might say. That's, that's where I felt like we needed, or what we needed to talk about today, sitting here on the back porch together. Sometimes we have to make ourselves a little uncomfortable uh, because that's part of being human and having emotions <laughs> and feelings. And uh, But uh, oftentimes, once we step out of our comfort zone, it there's so much good that comes from it. I love sharing here on YouTube. I love what I do. And I feel called to this. This is part of the purpose of my life. And I... I want to be able to share that with as many people as possible. And you know, I mentioned too that I didn't want people to feel like I was pestering them with, hey, come watch my videos. And I still do not, um, I very casually share about what I do here with the people that I know and the people I encounter. Uh, I don't know that I'll ever be the, the person that put every video I put out, I'm like, hey, come watch, hey, come watch. But even in what, like, what I do share, I don't... I don't think I'm pestering anybody. I think that was just another one of those things that I had kind of made myself believe. Um, people have, have said, oh, I love watching your videos. Um, oh, I saw this recipe and I'm going to try it. I'm so glad I you know, found out that you had a YouTube channel. People have been so supportive. Sometimes we, we let ourselves think of what might go wrong and that, that never actually happens. It's in fact the opposite <laughs> and we're blessed by it. And there were people that before I started openly openly sharing about it a little bit you know, more. Again, never, I never hit it. I just didn't talk about it a lot. And there were some people that knew. Y'all had seen my mama and my sister and my papa and those kind of people in, in videos. But there were some other people that just happened to run across <laughs> videos, which is, it's kind of neat. Um, I never told them that it's what I do. But I would get a text message and be like, I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. That is so cool. <laughs> I just happened to find one of your videos. So that's kind of neat how that worked out sometimes too. We are loving. Do y'all hear the thunder though? I started to say we're loving this weather, but do you hear the thunder? It's looking awful dark back in the distance. And I think we may get some more storms here in a little while, little while, which means I probably need to go get the turkeys and geese and bring them back in the house. We've let them on the sunny, pretty days, we've let them be out here on the grass, but 
I don't want them to get caught out here in a storm. I may need to go ahead and bring them back in the house. The animals? Oh, did your animals fall off the porch? Okay, hang on and we'll go get them. You can go get them. Okay. Put your boots on. That sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Well, it cut off on me. I had to fix it. <laughs> but what I was trying to tell you is if you're watching this on Friday, I hope you have a great weekend. Whatever day you're watching it on, I hope you have a great day. If you want to hang out with me a little bit longer, I'll link the playlist for all of our back porch chats down in the description box. So you can go check out some of our other videos and see what we got going on. We'd love to have you stick around, be part of our family if you happen to be new. And if you're not new, you know what I'm going to say? And you know I mean it with all my heart. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.